What's up guys, top of the morning to you. I think today, 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 today guys. So without delay guys, let's jump into the video. Oh my goodness, first startup. I need some gas for first startup. This is crazy. Okay, you guys, here we have it. This is my new, well, not new, but new to me, but not new. But this is a 2013 Jeep Wrangler JK. And we have so many plans for this build. Let's just take a quick walk around it and just look how Christine, or like I would say mint condition, one of the reasons why I took my time and I look at certain things before I purchase it. And if you look underneath this undercarriage, there is no rust. There is, it's so clean. This vehicle had one owner and I believe it came from down south. So guys, I am s'more. I am so excited to be uh, jumping into this project. As you guys know, from the past videos, I've been doing some paint work and i've been collecting some things for the wrangler and uh yeah we're gonna be slapping all that stuff on all that goodness and all and we're gonna transform the look of this jeep um yeah guys so i can't wait to jump in and we have some plans for the interior not nothing crazy going on we're just gonna do some detailing and we have uh some paint panel pieces that we are going to do uh, to this Wrangler match it with that Caribbean Bay blue on the outside. So look at this interior. See this interior is super clean It got like these cloth like seats um, I don't know the, the exact material this is made out of but uh, As you can see it's in really really good condition. I love the black interior. It's just uh, I think you can never go wrong with a black interior um, Yeah, so uh, yes, this Jeep does have a uh, 126,000 miles but we have major plans guys like I said for this project we are going to be doing an engine and transmission swap where we are going to be ripping out the axles um, we're going to be lifting this thing with a five inch fab tech lift kit we're going to be using their drive shafts we I mean guys this Jeep is going to be crazy when we're done it's getting 40 inch tires with these uh the milestone pentagonia mts 3.5 inch wide i don't remember the offset i don't think it does have an offset um but yeah with these 17 vision wheels these vision tactical wheels um and i did uh paint the rim to make it look more like a b-lock style they are not b-locks but to give it that more style um I forgot how wide this wheel is, but it's a smaller wheel than a tire. So it's going to have that tire um, wall protection. It's not going to be poked out. It's not going to be stretched, you know, so it's going to look like a really, really capable off-road Jeep. All right, guys, it is the next day here. And look, we got snow today. But look at the Jeep Wrangler. I mean, it is looking beastly in the snow. I'm going to show you guys under the hood. You see that this practically, practically brand spanking new. But we're going to be stripping this engine out anyway and putting back all the accessories. Because, guys, guys, hit that thumbs up, guys, if you are ex just as excited as I am. what's up guys oh my goodness we have snow oh, man this is crazy <laughs> weather is crazy but um 
and four wheel drive, taking it to work real quick. Uh, just want to get a feel for it. And yo, I tell you this thing, I, I like it, I like it. Like I said, this is my beater here. So I bought this to beat this up, tear it up, rip it up. You know what I mean? So this is what we are doing with this here. So the reason why I'm riding the snow, cause I don't care. <laughs> you know, I don't care about it. So uh, like I said, we will be getting uh, the engine swap. Maybe I'll care about a little bit more than in, like a little more than in. I already did some paint work and uh, some sanding down to any pieces that I didn't like or agree with. I told you, so. But it's a ringer. It's made to get like, you know, beat up. So, um, yeah, yo, it is crazy right now. Like it's, a, it's so much snow. Look at this, look at this. See, right now they're doing a great job with the roads, but there is nobody out. It is crazy looking. Look at all the cruisers and everything over there flashing. But Jeep can handle it, no problem. And for a 2013, it's holding its own. I mean, I, I can tell the shocks have to be replaced because uh, it is kind of bouncy. I can feel that. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna get put an engine, uh, engine and transmission in this. And I believe this one do have a transfer case as well. So I'm saying it's gonna get all the goodies. And uh, and uh, yeah. yeah, you guys ride on the clean side. I'll ride on the side where it's risky, all right? <laughs> can't be the Wrangler or a four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive vehicle, guys, I'm telling you. And wait till you get the meaty tires. Oh, man, we're gonna tear this up. We're gonna look so good, too. Oh, my wound's fogging up. I gotta, I gotta clean that. Yo, that was crazy. It was like a complete whiteout for a second back there. You couldn't see where you were going. Um, but yeah, these guys are slower than me. So I'm gonna take this road here. Speed up when you speed up. But yeah, guys, the Jeep Wrangler handles amazingly this kind of weather four wheel drive works great everything works great with this vehicle yes like i said i'm going to be doing a lot of things with the jeep like i said tearing the axles out swapping uh, suspension completely tearing the axles out and uh sweat changing transmission engine all that it's getting the works guys i'm telling you so like like me buying an older wrangler was uh a benefit for me because uh yeah it's, I mean, it's gonna get gonna be brand new by the time I'm done with it. But look at that, 126,000. But she still rides like she's fairly, fairly in good condition. Like I said, those shocks back there, I can tell they need to be uh, replaced because um, it's too bouncy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You guys, I am overly impressed on how this Jeep is handling. I mean, for 2013, I can imagine the newer models, the 2021s. But for 2013, this is kind of clean, but I was on a road where, I mean, it's, it was absolutely terrible. Like, it, it just eating it. Like, I'm like I'm going right now, I'm going like 35, almost 40, 37. So I'm like, something around that, around those numbers. But yeah, I mean, look how well this Jeep is handling. I mean, this is pretty sweet. Like I said, it's a, a pretty, really good rig, man. I didn't realize how the Jeeps were this much uh, sturdy. They, they're very sturdy. So I see why now they hold their value. I mean, just look at the interior for for a 2013. I mean, this is pretty clean. I mean, other than the stereo being a little old, but <laughs> it, it's, it's working well, man. I'm surprised it's handling this well. And see, I'm on the dirtier side, side and the clean side over there. So I, I just want to see how this thing handles. It's handling good. Oh, guys, look at that. I have black eyes. Ooh, I love black eyes. I love it so much that I want to model that. I bought a bottle of that stuff. I bought a bottle of the stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have that, man. It smells so good. <sighs> black ice is nice. Anyways, but um, man, I'm, I'm addicted to black ice. Ever since I had my old three Ram, that was the only little trees I put in here. Black ice. But dude, this is, <laughs> this is sick, man. Beautiful scenery, beautiful scenery. Um, uh, it handles quite well in the snow. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. I'm just, I'm just cruising through this Memorial Drive. But, uh, yeah. Well, that's going to end it for today's video, guys. So, if you guys are just as excited as I am, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you guys do not miss out on any future content coming up with this Jeep Wrangler build. I'm telling you, it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Um, I guess that's it, guys. So, I will see you guys. Take care. completely but yo look 
at the change. 